Just a day after Governor DeWine signed the state budget, tonight we're getting a better look at the difference the mental health provisions in it could make for Ohioans. Lindsay Buckingham explains. It's been long stigmatized, but Ohio's new bill promises to take mental health seriously. This is a, a very favorable budget for mental health and addiction services. Scott Osicki with Adams Cuyahoga County Board says Ohio's new funding for mental health services is a game changer for those struggling. In addition to raising awareness, it's also shining a spotlight on the need for mental health and addiction services. It will allow um, Adams boards to continue the service services that they're providing, as well as perhaps add a little bit more services as well. Some key items in the law include increasing reimbursements for providers, increasing mental health access for both kids and adults, and continued support for prevention, crisis, and recovery services. It also begins to address the low Medicaid behavioral health reimbursement rates, which will actually allow for a 10 percent increase in the rates being paid to our providers for the services that they provide. Mental health organizations right now have a lot of vacancies and it's part of it is because there are so many open jobs just in the world and so to compete with those jobs you need to give higher reimbursement rates. Mental health for kids a focus for Ohio this next fiscal year. Lieutenant Governor John Husted tweeting out the details for the Social Media Parental Notification Act effective on January 15, 2024. It requires certain online companies to get verifiable parental consent before allowing kids under the age of 16 to use their platforms, implementing strict rules for their safety. Local advocates see these new Ohio laws paving the way for better mental health resources for our entire country. It really doesn't completely undo the decades of underinvestment that behavioral health services has had, but it really continues to move it in the right direction. Well, in April, Governor DeWine announced $2.9 million in federal funding to help people affected by traumatic events such as natural disasters, mass shootings, or terrorist events. Russ? All right, Lindsay Buckingham here with us in the studio. Thank you. You bet.